Hello and welcome to a new EasyDigitals.com video tutorial. Remember, you can get all of our high quality Photoshop and Photoshop Elements templates at EasyDigitals.com. And don't forget to sign up for our monthly newsletter. We give away free templates and tutorials each and every month, along with product update info and coupons. Okay, Kim, what easy tutorial are you going to show us today? Today, I'm going to go over the new GearWorks template and show you how to customize it. So I'm going to come up to File and then click Open. And I'm going to open one of the templates. All right, so here's the template. The first thing I want to do is go over my workspace. I like to have my layers up, my history up. I like to have auto select layer check marked and show transform controls check marked. This has a lot of options and things you can move around. First of all, it has blocks to, that you can clip your photo to and you can change the size of these. If you need more space, grab your little square and make it go up or down and then you press enter and then you can take this little line and arrow it down if you need more space or if you want to resize and then you could add like another word here like you could duplicate these layers if you needed to add more information could not nudge because locked I'm going to unlock that this is how you unlock it the texture layer and then shift and press the other layer and then I can arrow it down so you could make many words here or or you could even turn all these words off and you could add another another layer and you could have two photos in here and drag that down and then you could clip two photos to this so every single template in this set has these options that you can use so there's really a lot you can do with it but I'm gonna come to my history and I'm gonna take the template back to how it was we also have these spark layers that you can turn off and on and you can also change the color of the spark if you say you you have a green in your photo and you want the sparks to have a green edge it has this outer glow and you can change it to anything you want so let's just change it to this color for now and I'm actually gonna select that color control C for copy and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other also another way that you can do that is you can just right click copy layer style and then you can come to the other later layer and click right click and then do paste layer style if you want the, the styles to be the same it also has this gear that you can move up and down, move it around, do whatever you want with it, and it has the sparks can be moved around. If you want less sparks, if you want to, you could resize the sparks and make them smaller by pressing shift and then press enter so that it takes. So there's really a lot of options with this. Another thing you can do with these sparks is this one is a little bit high right here so if this was maybe blocking somebody or over somebody you can add a mask and you grab your black on top here grab brush and I'm gonna I have my caps lock on so it's not showing I'm gonna turn that off and I'm gonna right click and then I can just erase this if you're using elements and you can't use a mask you can just come over to the eraser tool do the same thing grab a brush and erase you know, and erase these sparks that you don't need that maybe are covering up things so what we're gonna do today is go ahead and bring a player into this and customize it so I'm gonna click file open and I'm gonna navigate to my player I already have this player extracted I have a previous tutorial on how to extract the players and I'm going to go ahead and come over to my template and I'm going to come to this layer that says place your extracted player here. Sometimes this works, sometimes you have to still move the player. So I'm going to drag him in, come to my move tool, drag him in, and then close that window. And of course you can see he's a little big. I'm going to right click, convert to smart object. And 
This works for Photoshop 4 and above, I believe. It just allows you to continue to resize the picture without losing any quality. So I like to have, make sure that my image is a smart object. So I'm just going to move, first of all I'm going to select this line and I'm going to turn it off. I would like him to be behind. I'd like these words to be behind and I also need to select the texture. So I'm going to unlock this for now. The reason these are locked is because sometimes when you're trying to grab a word it grabs the texture and so you can just lock it so then it allows you to grab the word. Anyway, so I'm going to unlock that. I'm going to select all four of these and I'm going to move them down below my player. So I'm dragging it and here's my player and I'm putting it right between there. So now it's below. I'm also going to turn off this box that you can clip a photo to. I'm going to grab my player here and if you can't see the little transform edges you can come up to view fit on screen and it will show you the entire selected image. And I'm just going to make this smaller and press enter and then I can do view fit on screen or I can zoom in. Okay so now I have my player I still want his bat above this line too, so I'm going to have to put that line behind my player. Good. And if you did want the sparks behind the player, you could move the sparks behind the player. So now let's say I want to move, the, that's why you lock this, so that it doesn't move around like that. So I'm going to lock that, I'm going to lock that, and I'm going to move the name. Come to my type tool, let's change it to John, and we'll come down to the bottom, the last one, and we'll change that to. You can change it to anything. You can resize it. Come to your square here, resize, bring it over, and press enter. And let's say I just wanted to move the whole thing. Mm. I'm going to press control and grab John, move it all down and then make it smaller. Enter, and you can turn off these textures. And then you can change the color if you choose, if you want to do it that way. And down here you can change that text the same way. Take my cap lock off and scoot it over and you might need to size it down. That, what, that got scrunched. There we go. You can change this by, ch by using the hue s saturation. So double click that and it's it may look different depending on what version of Photoshop or Elements you have but I'm just going to try to match it best I can here. And you can also bring down the saturation. You can use lightness and darkness. And you can also turn off colorize. Colorize just makes it only two colors. So if colorize is off it, you may see different tones in there. A, a variety of different colors. Another thing you may want to do is you may want to have this gear above your player. Again, that's going to be a personal preference, but let's say you did want it above, then you can just move that above so that you can see that. Another thing that you can do is you can actually add a color to the background. This is the hue saturation for that. So if you wanted to put a color in there, if you wanted it to match or just use a different color, you can do that. And you can add color to, you could add a hue saturation to one of these lines by clicking on this and then coming to hue saturation. And one thing you have to do though is you have to clip it or it'll or it'll mess up your whole picture and make you wonder what's going on. So you could change every bar to match if you wanted to. Add a hue saturation layer to every bar. And that's one of the things that can happen with this set is like if if one of these 
comes unclipped it really makes the photo look weird so you have to remember as you move things around and things come unclipped it could mess up the picture and you may need to go into your history and back up until you figure it out until you figure out where it did that so like let's say I release the clipping mask and I, I'm wondering why is my entire picture blue so I could come to my history and I could just back up until that's fixed and then I can go back in and redo it the right way so the reason I I did lock these layers though was so that it wouldn't grab them every time you tried to move the player or something okay I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off and let's say that I'm gonna turn this off too for one final touch here we'll just add a glow I know a lot of times people want to have a glow to their player just to make it stand out so that's how you do that and then you can do change the size the spread I don't usually change the spread but sometimes I'll change the size and you can also do a drop shadow which just makes it a little bit darker and you can add and you can increase the opacity that is how you add an extracted player to the template next I'm gonna show you how to customize the memory mate so stay tuned hey that was easy thanks for watching if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of our products you can always reach us at easydigitals.com have a creative day